and okay, Matt. <laughs> get off know? my back. Get off my back, man. You know, RNG Singapore though. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and predict RNG Sports because of one one. So we're going to game three, is what you're saying? Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, it's all about the mental reset and, of course, recalibrating your draft as we go into the Land of Dawn for game number two. It's match point Welcome for RSG SGR. Are they going to upset the locals here at MSC 2022 day one? Or are we going to go all three as we did in the first series of the day? Brace are in purple as well as carry. Yeah, I guess we're going back to normal. So both both purple starts here for mm -hmm. all the junglers across the teams. Um, I don't know. Orange Esports, they have the Kadita as well as the Ruby and uh, Born, but it's not quite a beefy front line. Yeah, you're really seeing some aggression here from the side of Orange Esports as well. They're trying to just give the 1-1 one, one space to farm, but in that mid lane, Gary is trying to go for the Little Wanderer. It is actually just going to be Bray who takes it up. Gary, though, he will, goes to the end. He goes back to his own jungle. Baby cakes up top, getting bullied. Yeah, forcing forced to back here, and you can see Min just waiting out. If Baby Cakes oversteps just by a little bit, that will be a well, pretty much dead Beatrix there. But Baby Cakes super careful. He realizes this from game one. You know, the strategy is to shut him down in the early game, regardless of what he's playing. Yeah, I mean, currently again, I think RSG Singapore. With the Natalia, they need to be a little bit more aggressive, and they're showing it already. Diablo just invading the enemy jungle, and Gary is forced to just constantly be thinking about the Natalia, right? He wants to go back in, but there you go. 505 just punishes him for trying to go for the invade. Not just even think of the Natalia, even see the Natalia. Yeah. There, there must be some mind games being played here, and given their huge win game number one, RSGSG has all the incentive to do just that. So it's, it's all in the cards, it's, it's all uh, in the logic, in the principle of how this series is going to go. Absolutely. At this moment, the turtle is spawning in just two seconds now. You can see even though Bourne has pressed up his lead all the way down bottom side with the minions, RSG, SG, they've rotated all the way down to make sure that Bray can secure this objective. Yeah, you can see the opposite instantly from the side of Orange Esports. They want to trade this for a kill on towards Baby Cakes oh. up top. And will he get it? Baby Cakes actually flickers out, gets petrified though. The real world manipulation comes in, but it is still first blood from Orange. They will be able to get a gold lead here with the turret gold, but 505 is trying to look for more compensation. Min forced to back up. 505 doesn't want to commit, and that's actually Bray stealing oh. the purple buffalo away from Gary. And I was going to say that is because as they took the turtle, the first turtle of the game about moments ago, he did not use retribution. That's how in control and aware Bray was of the situation. I'm not sure if he planned to go for this deal, but indeed he did. So this puts RNG Sports in a very precarious position. This is a purple buffless Ling. Yeah, that, that's really dangerous. And even though Gary is great on his assassin junglers, like you can see right now, it is a power pick for him. But without a purple buff, that's still going to be tough for him. Yeah, mechanically speaking, it's a PBL. Power buff, a purple buffless Ling, you need that. Yeah. You're just not going to perform without it. Yeah, you really do. On the Ling, it's just very, very tough when you don't have the purple buff. Even when you have the purple buff, sometimes it's just really tough, especially up against a composition like RSG, SG. They have silence. Ability from the side of 505, just presenting utility, a lot of disengage, a lot of stuns, and to, t to add on to that, the damage from Baby Cakes, if he does go for a Wesker, it's going to be really tough for Link. Not just the damage from Baby Cakes, even Diablo. I, I saw the interaction earlier, the Esmeralda was just not having a good time. Up top! I'm offended, getting pop here, gets on to break crossbow of 10 pops as well, but not enough damage to be able to close out that kill. Instead, Miku Miku Mi pops the real world manipulation and tries to get Min to flicker out, will get him to safety. Yeah, and uh, surprisingly, they didn't actually go for the dive onto Valens. I thought with Min forced to use the Flicker, they would have just committed on to that dive towards Valens. He didn't even have the crossbow tang anymore, no Inspire. But no, they just choose the safe route, they're disciplined. They don't really want to push and overcommit. They know they have a gold lead currently. Stay on to it, wait for the turtle, set up. I hear you and I see it. But I'm wondering if that's the right call because it yeah. was a very small gold lead. I I'm agree. sure they could have forced the issue a little bit more, but uh, Turtle already up second of the game. 
Oh, 505 up top already being forced out of the range here. But RSG still pressing on, trying to get the turtle. Ooh. They do have the ultimates up, like the heavy spin as well as the raging sandstorm. Not opting to use that yet. Diablo, though, getting caught up here and manages to zone out everyone oh. successfully for Bray to get the objective. Oh, um, love it! A Khalid that works, works like a miracle. You see that? Yeah. He, he, he bought so much time and opened up a kill from behind. 505 on balance. Turns out the quicksand guard that we need to, to look at is the raging storm to get out 505 he's gonna get taken down but it's worth it man he traded his life for balance on the one one because of that he's gonna lose an entire wave up top and baby cakes gets the lead i'll take that trade any day any day a natalia for a one one yes please <laughs> Uh, and, and right now, RSG, they recognize, yes, Valance is probably the card that they're hiding now. They're doing the same as they did to Baby Cakes now. Uh, in the mid stages of the game, how, how are RNG Sports going to play this? So RNG Sports, they're down about 500. But in team fights that they pick, in team fights that they want to go into, they can. So the way that they get into the mid game's power spike this way is to watch out and count what Diablo's up to because this happens. That's this, what look at the damage output that the Khalid has. Yeah, and two executes as well, right? So it doesn't matter how much shielding you have, Diablo are going to be able to convert on to the turret with the kill there. And Min is trying to look for a trade up top. It's not going to happen though, because again, RSG just have, they have so much map control. They know, they're That's aware. Cheeky. That's cheeky. It is cheeky though. I'm so amazed. You know, RSG, they respond exactly as if they can see exactly what's going on the yeah. map. It's it's insane. But right now, Gary being aggressed on in the mid lane, Bray popping that heavy spin, not uh, heavy spin, not able to oh. get the kill so far. <laughs> Gary just dashes out. Gary almost walked into the loving arms of 505. You saw that? Yeah. I was a bit worried for him for a bit, right? But then I saw every other member just surrounding him. But Valance now, he's caught in the sandwich play. That was beautiful oh! by Baby Cakes. The Wesker Flicker combo comes in. Min's caught. Real world manipulation will be able to lock them down. But look at the rough waves coming in to just secure another kill. On the backside as well, Born jumping onto Miku. Miku me. Diablo now in a 2v1. Still managing oh! to get away with 1 HP. But Min will silence his fate. That's a kill picked up. Miku, you're not going to be able to get anywhere else. Born just takes the kill. Miku's helping him out. Oh, Miku just gives yeah. up right there. You can just see, he just take stands me. it. Yeah, take me. Uh, this is <laughs> tough. Now, Man getting that burst damage onto Baby Cakes. That, Baby Cakes needs to really be careful here. I mean, yes, they're kind of uh, even right now. A bit of advantage, but right in the middle lane, Min in some trouble here. 505 actually being the one to run away. Baby Cakes already popped that Nibiru to fend off Orange Esports. So far, no kills dropped yet. That last team fight, very messy. I'd say RSGSG may be a little too overconfident. Yeah. They know that they have the damage advantage. They know that, okay, we can engage here. But I'm guessing, again, at some points, they were allowed to be a little too overconfident. This might have been the punish right here. Yeah, but look at that. Baby Cakes actually baits in Gary into the heavy spin. He will lose his life, but it is going to be traded in for two kills on the board. Turret down below taken down. So I would actually say it's still worth it for Orange here. I feel like right now, it looks as if, you know, Diablo is the hidden carry. Like, you think it's Baby Cakes or Miku Miku Me? It oh. is actually not, but Valence is in some trouble here. Pumps across while tank onto Bray, will be able to secure the kill. And Diablo in some trouble. Looks like they will be happy with that one and walk away with it. But 505 oh. gets the revenge onto Valence, taking that trade super well. Yeah, Min also f just forced to back away now, and RSG, they're slowly like, losing their feet on the game. Uh, currently, Orange Esports, they have RSG's number. And I think the key here to both of these teams' success is on RSG SG's execute counters. They have to be aware oh. and then pick the fights where in the execute is on point! Miku, Miku, me. Down. Man now in some trouble. I'm offended lands, but they will not be able to get the last hit on him. Diablo comes in with a raging sandstorm though and manages to put him in the dust. The way you put it, the secret carry is Diablo! Yeah. He's the he's the silent killer from RSGSG, right? Still not over the series. Still not over <laughs> the series, man, but Man, like, at this point, right, RSG, they're building again. They have a 1,000 goalie. They have map pressure. They're trying to go for the siege into the mid lane so that they can set up for the Lord. But Horn is just not letting that happen. RSG, they need to look for a cheeky pick at this point, right? Because if they don't get a pick, it's going to be kind of tough. Uh, Orange Esports have the advantage currently, and they can just snowball, honestly, in the mid stage of the game. Yeah, we, we talk about how Diablo has, uh, sorry, RSG has Diablo. 
As for RNG Sports, I gotta say, it's Man who's the real difference maker yeah. here. Where in the rough waves, the full combo comes in, that's where they win. And of course, if you find these uh, cheeky 2v1s, where in there's no response, there's no blowback, you get that too. And you, you take away the gold lead from RSGSG. RNG Sports, if they play like this for the next two or three min minutes more, and then leverage this free Lord, we might as well go into game three. This is what I was worried about when 505 went Natalia, right? Like, yes, you get, you need to make full use of it in the early game. But right now, as we approach the mid and late, it starts to fall off. And if you don't be, uh, if you're not able to get off those picks, you just fall off in the team fight. Yeah, for sure. Lord here at a third of its health. Yeah, and it's going to be tough for the side of RSG. I mean, look at Orange Esports. He's just grouping up. Bray, he just forced the back away now. He goes in for the heavy spin, but he will not be able to use the Retribution there to pick up the Lord. Baby Cake's now trying to kite away as Diablo does the same thing on the back lines, going for Valence, but in the end, he will be the one who loses his life. A shutdown on to Valence is not good. Orange Born looking for the Falling Star Moon. Will not connect onto it. 505 finds a trade, but it's a one for one. Orange pick up the Lord. Diablo cannot be two things at once. He cannot be the one zoning everyone and be the carry at the same time. Uh, this Kadita pick, I feel, has really thrown RSG off. Uh, and maybe it was RSG that showed their cards too early with the Khalid pick second to last. Oh, I hear you. Shortinger's Diablo. It's not going to happen. But look, he is the most damaged dealt. 30, almost 40k. Oh, but look at this though. 505 going for it. This time, Valens has the win in nature and that's... That might just be 505 punished here. It seems like it is, but 505 managing to maneuver really well with the help of Diablo to back him up and help him escape. But in the bottom side, RNG Sports, again, just looking to siege down the turret. It is not an enhanced lord, so it will just be cleared out here under that base turret down below. This is not look honestly like yes RSG is still keeping up pretty well but Orange Esports they are gradually getting a lead and I feel like this is only going to get bigger they haven't found an answer for Man yet because Man dives straight into the backline for Baby Cakes Miku Miku Mi forces them to retreat and there's no more fight. Yep and uh, it's not like there's any cleanses on the side of RSG so they have to tank the full combo they have to time it out and there's just not enough resources whether in gold in EXP or in the kit that RSG allows for that so something's gotta give. The best that they can do is trade, but they have to get beneficial trades. Nothing comes for free now at this point, 12 minutes in. Oh, Bray is actually canceling out the rough waves, forcing him to pop it, but Valens, he's looking is. for one more weakness point. He goes in very deep and he's gonna get punished for it. Real world manipulation will take him low and that's 505 getting caught by Gary. An amazing play to spot him out right there as he pops the Temple of the Blades and locks him down. Born picks up the kill. Baby Cakes now looking for the damage and the trade off, but Valens is here to pop the weakness points. Baby Cakes running away. Born oh. picks up the kill for a double. The Diablo looking for it, but a crossbow tank will be popped onto Miku. And now it's Bray who needs to suffer the consequences. Diablo with a Raging Storm trying to oh. look for compensation. Gary dashes out in the last second. Again, a three for two, Favor favoring Orange. So hard to watch. RSG had the lead there, but you forgot about Valens. Yes, you survived Man's rough ways, but what next? You face an onslaught of arrows being thrown at you right now. Just a brawl between Born as well as Diablo. Show off the two fighters. And off of that fight, Orange Esports are gonna get the mid lane turret. The Lord is spawning in 10 seconds as well. RSG, how do they come back from this? RSGSG, uh, as evidenced by that team fight right there, uh, it's, it's, it's the resources were there, right? They had their battle spells, they had their ults. It's just, they were too spread out. Uh, the, the, the target acquisition, there you go. Uh, what Falcon Esports is so good at, as we saw from the first series of the day, RSGSG, they need to pick that out. I haven't seen Bray really get a key heavy spin on quite yeah. yet. I agree, you know, um, Bray, he had an, a phenomenal game number one, but currently on the Akai, he's kind of struggling to find those cheeky picks, like, right? Um, those are the picks that you kind of need when you're playing the Akai now, and look at it here. He, again, is just going to get zoned by Bourne. He's looking for the entrance here. He used it heavy spin to open up, but maybe it might just be a little bit too late. Valence looking for every single weakness points, will be able to get it, and the crossbow tank is ready. They will all just back away. Reset, though. RSG lose one. That looked to me like a heavy spin of death. Inspiration. It's like he just wanted to dive in and try to retribution it, but in the face of what? Three or four damage dealers from RNG Sports plus a retribution from Gary is just not quite gonna happen. So yeah, RSGSG, number one, trying to get Bray uh, back on track. And um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's so hard. Like, 
if you're talking about, yeah, that's gonna take off right there. If you're talking about Schrodinger's Diablo, how about Schrodinger's Bray? What are you? Are you a zoning out utility uh, jungler or are you like an assassin that deals a lot of damage? It's so hard, so difficult. I think that's what's going on here. Diablo, Bray, 505. They're playing different roles than they were meant to play. 505 Roamer now has to play an assassin. Diablo is supposed to play EXP, now he's a carry. Bray, jungler, now a tank. It's all out of their comfort zones, and right now with the Lord marching in, Orange Each Bro, they're looking to end these. They get Diablo as well as 505. Baby Gates is next to go, and now with the Lord marching in, the huge burst damage onto Miko. Miko Mi will secure the kill, and they go straight for the core. It's Orange Esports chalking this up to a one to one. Equalizing on the one one. You know. <laughs> 1-1 one, one gap, but no, they played that extremely well. Again, uh, the 1-1 one, one actually fell behind in that early stage uh, for a bit because